Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior 5. We are playing the DLC Legend of the Castral Lancers and we're gonna continue. Our goal, by the way, is to get to year 20, no, 3028, because then the next part of the Castral Lancers storyline will continue. But we also need a bunch of mechs and some good pilots, so therefore we're gonna try to seek some trouble. We're gonna go somewhere where we can actually play some missions, get a little bit of money, get a good chunk of new battle mechs, because that's one of the things that we need to take care of. And I would say we're going to start right away. Um, we definitely... Yeah, we definitely get rid of the spider here. I don't want it or need it. The rifleman, however, is a very interesting mech to have. So I want to keep that thing for the moment. So taking a look at the star map, you can see we are in the lower end, in the southern end of the inner sphere. We are right here. And this is kind of like a low tier area where we are right now in a three to six uh, tier bracket. I think we can, with what we have, we can easily go for something like seven easily um there's a war zone in defense and the raid though those are pretty good actually and i definitely want to get some more cantina missions so what about we push north but um we're gonna go to ambergrist play the defense mission there take a bunch of cantina things and then we're gonna again push a little bit more north and for that reason i'm just gonna instantly oh repair everything yeah, everything is fine here. We just got a crit on the SRM. I mean, I was brawling with that Shadowhawk like crazy last time, but I think it's okay. So, Phoenix Hawk is there. Rifleman will be built as soon as we are in an industrial hub because that will lower the cost of all of that. And we're just gonna go there. I just wanted to get something done now so I don't have to go to an industrial hub, repair everything there, and then come back to my planet here. Instead, I'm gonna take a little bit of extra money and extra time so that we can go over here, play the next mission, and be fine with that. So let's do it. All right, Cantina. We have to collect a bunch of medium lasers to get a good chunk of reputation as well as an SRM2 tier one. Actually two of them. It's not really worth the reward, but I like the career reputation, so that's cool. We go to Liao, Davian Border, collect water purifications. I mean, all of this is kind of low tier, but I would just pick it up because right now we have nothing else to do. And then there are 15 warrior units to destroy. That's actually good. That's easy. Right. So, that being said, I want to quickly check the mech market. Firestarter is a very good early mech, but we have so many mechs already. Uh, and I don't think we're going to pick up any light mechs anymore. What we are looking for is heavies at that point. So, let's go ahead and take the contract. I know, I know, I know. This is garrison duty. So, that's interesting. This is not a defense. This is garrison duty. This is one of the new ones. Let's see how this plays. Let's go. Um, I'm not gonna take... I mean, we got money. A lot of money. I'm gonna take salvage here so we can stock up on some things. Let's do it. And we have a tonnage limit of 200. That is not great, honestly. So, we're gonna drop that down to a Phoenix Hawk, I guess. And honestly, no. This Wolverine... The Wolfie is gonna be the Kentaro. Yeah, we're gonna st keep the Kentaro here, because he's really good with missiles. Uh, Lieutenant Connor Murphy. And I do believe it is a good idea to stay on the Hawk. Sure, let's go. Let's do it. Also, I need to change my camo pattern. I kind of want to make it more like a uh, Kestrel Lancer's uh, color pattern. Like bluish, bluish, whitish. I think that makes a lot of sense for this playthrough. Anyway, here we are. Local municipalities are being threatened by hostile forces. The local militia is attempting... It's a little bit loud, I think. Let me go ahead and tune down the sound a little bit. ...to keep the peace, but they are ill-prepared for an all-out oh, assault. Oh, what's going on here? We got... And link up with local ...we got artillery on the battlefield? Now that is crazy. Just in time, wow. Uh, they have artillery? That's gonna wreck our base so quickly. We gotta do something about that. Well Alright, so one down. <laughs> we gotta be so quick with that. Look at the base going down. What? That's insane. It's already down to 74%. Can I shoot this already? No, it's beyond the bit. Oh god. I don't know if we can actually get this done. It's two here. I mean, those things are aiming at my max. We got all of them? No. Not even close. Holy macaroni! Get wrecked! There we go. So, 
Um, you know what? We're gonna turn around now. We have to deal with what's going on here. We got two artillery emplacements down, and now we're gonna go back and attack the actual tanks and vehicles that are coming in. Looks like mobile units wow. Radar. Wow. That's insane. I mean, the amount of pressure this mission is putting on us is just absolutely crazy. Let's go in and destroy things. Not the base, hopefully. So we technically have to stay out of the base uh, in order to not attract the artillery fire. Yeah, there's a carrier. We're gonna try to take it quickly. Missing it horribly. And again. Alrighty. And now the carrier there. So we got him. Oh. <gasps> That's insane! And I love it! I love it. I mean, at some point, those guys... Um, those guys won't be, be able to destroy that much anymore because lots of the base will be destroyed already. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Can I please hit those things? Come on! Nope. Not like this. See, I want to always stay in motion as well because of the artillery. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go for that guy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, those guys are now steady, which means we can actually do that. Beautiful. <laughs> I love this mission. It's pretty good. Puts me under a lot of pressure here. Ah, I realized why it was so loud. It was just so loud because it was... Um, my headphones were turned on, like, to the max. I think it wasn't really loud in-game, right? So I'm gonna, you know... You know, make it happen again. You're gonna go back to 100. I'm sorry for that. So, here we go. Um, that's a manticore. That's actually quite dangerous. We also have enemies behind us. Yeah, you know what? I'll go for the hawk first. Let these other guys come in. <laughs> Man, I love this. This is really good. Also, Shadowhawk 2D. I want that thing. This is a very good mech. A very good early mech. I'm having a Shadowhawk, but it's a 2H variant. It's uh, a little bit more limited on hard points. So this guy has three missile hard points and two energy and one ballistic. So definitely more options here. Maybe we can salvage it. We'll see. I would probably take it. Okay. And here we go. Tank down. We also got to turn around now. Oh god. They're bringing everybody and their mom. <laughs> Let's go for the scent. He's the next big target. Try to dodge this. Uh huh. VTOL on approach. Let me try to hit one of them. And then we go over here. Hey, scent. Hey, dude. Oh, yeah, ammo. There was something about ammo. I completely forgot about that. Come on. Bam. Bam. <laughs> I can't stop punching. I gotta do it. Uh, what kind of ammo is low? It's the SRM ammo, correct? Alright, we got this guy. Panther is next. Mm, let me see. Yeah, short range missiles are kind of low. Ammo depleted. That's not good. Come on! Come on! Die! There we go. Ah, we got it. Those are the last few enemies, so I might as well just go for them. Here comes the Manticore. Um, let me see. That's another hawk. Yeah, you go there. Attack this. I'll tag the manticore. Bam. Nice. And I will also attack the VTOLs here because that's the thing I can do with my auto cannon 5. That's pretty nice. If I hit those things. So, another one there. And then there's a hawk. Of the shadow kind somewhere as well as the panther all right so those are the last two enemies and i think we definitely need to stock up on ammo could easily go a little bit lower on the cooling here i think since we are not really running into big problems so far hey buddy okay, you're done no weapons no arms as well this ac5 is actually quite nice i like this hey hawk nope too far away we have 17 meters range, so we're at 30 now. 20, and here we go. Yeah. Saito also is getting wrecked, though. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to stay a little bit more away from him. Also using my right side to twist and shield. 
Can we kill this now? If I go in into another melee scenario. I think I can. Also, who's running the machine guns here? Oh, the Phoenix Hawk, of course. Yeah. The Phoenix has some machine guns. Stay here, mister. Please don't run away anymore. I need you. This is ridiculous. Why is he running? Now he knows, he knows what's coming. But now we got you. This is so good. And down he goes. This Shadowhawk, man. We definitely need probably another ton of SRM ammo. And we can probably get a uh, single heatsink out of this. Ha! We made it. Great. I love it. So, let's get some salvage. And man, I'm wrecking my Shadowhawk so much when I'm going in like that. This is just so crazy. It's good to have the option to melee, but I think it's not really the best thing that you can do. You will take so much return damage. But hey, we are a brawler and I like brawling. Ah, uh, we can only take the Panther. But let's take a look. We are supposed to take some medium laser tier zero. None of them are here for the Cantina mission, that is. Um, but sure, I just take whatever I can, and then we're gonna go home. Nice. So the repair costs are exactly the amount of uh, reward in Siebels that we got, but we also got this here, and that gives us uh, 600,000. I mean, money is money. It's fine. Alrighty, so next stop is gonna be definitely an industrial hub. Do we want to go there? Cerberus Hounds, playing those low-tier quests. I think I'm gonna go over here, and then we go maybe a little bit backwards to see what is uh, right south of it. This could be right up our alley in terms of tonnage and, and firepower and our skill level of the pilots. I think this is okay. So what I'm looking for is a mission rating of about 40-ish. That would be really good. So, Mac Market first. That's a Hunchback 4G. That's a freaking Victor? Do I want a Victor? 9A1. The 9A1 is honestly not the best one. See, those, those torso mounted uh, ballistics are small ballistic hard points. The thing that I can see doing with this mech is putting two AC2s on this and then two medium lasers and maybe an LRM-10? Is that possible? I don't know. Make it a, a mid-range to long-range supporter. That AC AC-20 is nice, don't get me wrong, but I think a single AC-20 and two medium lasers... I don't care about the machine guns. And the SRM is just a bit of splash damage on top of that. I don't really count that in as well. Mm, weird. I'm not a fan of Victor's, I gotta say. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Might be a mech that I could just take and give it to an AI pilot. That would be an option. It's a fast mech, though, so that's nice. Do I take it? I mean, we have the money. I think I'm gonna pass on the Victor. No. No, no, no. We're gonna figure out where, we, uh, you know, what to get in another planet. Um, auto cannon 10 burst fire. Nobody can really run it except for my... Actually, my Shadowhawk could, and the Hunchback could. Good large laser, LRM-20. This is all very expensive. I think I will also skip here. So, um, instead of buying anything... Can we repair that completely? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, instead of buying anything, I'm just gonna repair, and I'm refitting my Rifleman. Because I like this thing. Alright. Rifleman has a big problem, and that big problem is it is definitely too hot <laughs> in the stock loadout. And I would say we're gonna max armor and build upon that. Why not? Give it 12 on the back. 12 is a good number for me. I like this number. It's really good. Give it like 14 in the center torso. Actually, center torso should be maxed out on the front as well, because it is a very big hitbox. If I have to save something, I'm gonna take it from the legs. 49 is okay on both legs. All right. So we're going to build upon that. We have a very good AC-10 already. So we could go single AC-10 plus some laser builds. Or we make it all lasers. It's two larges and two mediums. Which would resemble to a build that we have on the blackjack already. Uh, a PPC maybe? Nah. I'll take that AC-10. Wait a sec. Do I do it? Is that what I want? I think it is. Yeah, let's go. I will play it just like that. 
Those mediums tier 2 are getting taken out. I'm gonna take all the medium lasers tier 3 that I have. And we're gonna put two tons of ammo in this. And the rest is cooling so that the medium lasers can fire as often as possible. This is a very decent build. It's nothing crazy. Absolutely not. But it works. And that's what we need right now. So we got, what, 82 days? That's alright. I think this is okay. With the amount of cooling that we have here, we should be able to fire those lasers quite a lot. And we have a build. Alrighty. So, before we do anything else, very quickly... This is kind of broken right now. Give me this guy. Uh, let me let me quickly paint that. And I think what we, what we need is a nice saturated blue, but lighter. Wait, that's saturation? That's... That is good. That's very good. This is gonna be like a white... Here we go. And then I think I want like a darker saturated blue of the same hue or a similar hue. But we're gonna make it dark. We are the Kestrel Lancers now. Alright. Oh, we are the... Are we the Kest... I mean, we are Phoenix Company. Eh, we'll see. So we're gonna apply this to everything. Select all apply. Thank you very much. And this looks way better. That's pretty cool. Also, I want to save that. Can I? Save as custom. Uh, Kestrel. Here we go. I like it. Okay, so from this point... Would you like to continue? Yes, here we go. Everything is being repaired, that's good. We have a lot of mechs. Again, we want to turn up though. And we also want to check out if there is somebody here that's worth picking up. At the same time, our people are really good with a cap of around 40. Those guys are also specialized already. They have some real good stuff. So I shouldn't be worrying about that. So, my, my biggest concern is more mechs. And, we're definitely gonna check out Lee because there is a hero on sale. And heroes might give us some very big power spikes. Let's check it out. It depends on which hero it is, obviously. But you know what? Even if it was a K9, an urban mech hero mech, I would instantly take it because it brings some double heat sinks to the table. And that's already pretty good. It's a treb. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It comes with an AMS and the Beagle, but then it has two Pulse Lasers and two SRM4s and it's two Streak 2s. It is all over the place. It doesn't even bring any heat sinks. So, I think I'm gonna pass. I'm a bit sad about it. It could have been anything, but the, the Ludiger is just not great, I think. 4SP is good. Um... It's actually good. We also got a hopper. It's the 5H. It's not... S it's not great, honestly, no. I was trying to debate whether or not I should pick it up, but it is not great. Now that it has melee, I mean, yeah, it can punch a little bit. It has those heavy hands, which deal, I think, 70... F no, 75. No, never, never mind. 17.5 uh, or 20? I think it's 20 here. This might be 20 damage. Um, but still... 64 kph, I mean, it's fast enough to get into a fight. But then it has one large energy weapon and then three small. I, I don't see it. It's four smalls, by the way. Yeah. I, I just don't see it. Not at all. Nah, 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 we're out of here. So, anyway, checking out the equipment section here again. Want to see if there's something that we want to pick up. Oh, we can pick up two of those. Very good. Got some for our cantina mission. And then the barracks, obviously. Just checking. Nothing here. Yeah, let's go home. Uh, let's actually seek some more trouble. Um, into the star map we go. Also, did we not pick up the cantinas? We should have. Uh, but we can go over here. There is a demolition times two and an assassination and a cantina as well. Let's check this out, guys. Let's actually get into the fight and seek some trouble. I want to check out the rifleman, by the way. I love this mech. It is so sexy. I like those those guys with the long barrels and no lower arm actuators. They are so cool looking for me. But I also like the chicken walker, so I'm a big fan of the catapult and the marauder. Absolutely sexy. Collect a Jenner. As it happens to be, we have a Jenner. So instead of selling it later, I think I'm gonna just put it into the Cantina mission, maybe. Or maybe we find a Jenna in poor condition and we're gonna take that instead. And then treasure hunting. Alrighty. 
Okay, let's go. Um, we play targeted kill, which is kind of a another submission of the assassination type, seemingly. All right. Oh, we are trusted. That's a lot of salvage. I'm taking it. Let's do it. And oh wait. And 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 before we do anything, forgot about the hawk. I'm thinking if I can squeeze a half ton of ammo in there, but I don't think it's possible. I think I'll do it like that. That's okay. Put all the ammo in the legs, just in case. You know, side also destruction might happen, and then ammo explosion. That's not cool. So we play the hawk just like that. Oh, it's 19 days here, but it's okay. We are, I think, not even using this hawk. But if I want to go for the rifleman... I might as well wait for the hawk. All right, so you're gonna take the hawk. You're pretty good with missiles and ballistics. You're really good with missiles. Um, the blackjack, the blackjack is solid, honestly. But I can squeeze a quick draw, and I will. So tonnage is key at this point. Yeah, it's 49 days. Let's go. We want to elapse the time. That's the thing. I'm not playing it in an optimal way, using the max that already and not wasting, quote unquote, wasting any time because I also want to get to the year 3028. We have marked their most likely whereabouts on your map. That bounty is as good as ours. Okay, Rihanna, if you say so. So we have no melee capacity here because we have no lower arms. We cannot swing it. Uh, oof. Oof. Two bases right next to each other? Um, I'm going to check out the other base before because if those two bases um, engage at the same time, we will have some trouble. Certainly. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, this is so cool. The barrel sticking out like that. I love this. So we have to kill a target. So far it seems like a regular assassination mission. Uh, let's see what twist is coming in here. There might be something. And look at the color. Oh, I love the saturated blue with the high contrast coming from the white. Target so good. Ah! Target it's single shot. I thought it was a burst fire, but I think the burst fire was on the store. That's good to know. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, it was a wall. Man, this thing has bullet Target drop like destroyed. crazy. It's insane. Target destroyed. Okay, let's go with that. Target Ooh. Destroyed. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of enemies. Incoming missile. I'm Target trying to get out of here. Targets. Certainly. Black Knight. Black Knight. Okay. Right, we're gonna take this real quick. And I think we found our target. Oh boy. Alright, Mr. Jack. We're gonna try to take you first. You are rather squishy. So maybe there's a chance that we're gonna get things done. But he's gonna stay at range. That makes sense. Alright, swivel over to the, uh, to the Black Knight. Ooh, lots of missiles. Where are they coming from? Dervish, okay, there it is. And we are so exposed here. It's crazy. But we got the knight. So we could go, but I think I'm gonna hit the jack a bit more. Yeah, the whole Timbiki Dark situation. Uh, that's a problem. Do we want to fight through this? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I've got that guy. Tear it down. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object That's a freaking charger! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Um, I am out of here. Certainly. Let's let's go. Rihanna, we need to talk. Can you get us out of here? Also want to attract some fire from the reinforcements. This is a fight we are not uh, not surviving. If we don't go now, we're just going to die. Or do we... Wait a second. There's there's things are happening. They, they are very interesting things happening. I need to fight this. I just figured out something. I just realized something. So I want to send everybody to the charger. Let's go. Maybe this is working. I don't know. Look at this. There is a yellow. Um, there is a yellow, yellow, yellow cache to find. This might be the remains of the Black Knight. There might be something that we can find there. And I want to check it out. What it is. So just chain firing here, saving some 
Ammunition or heat, actually. New target, Dervish. Dervish needs to go. So much damage coming Run. from that thing. Can you go for it, guys? It's headshot already. You are leg shot already. They had too many good targets. This is not good. All right, going over here. I'm trying to get a bit closer to Mr. Dervish, the um, champion. And honestly, we can take a beating still. So he's down. Attracting some fire is actually good. We finally got the locust as well. Yeah, this is working. We're fine. We're absolutely okay here. So this is what I'm talking about. This was the remains of the Black Knight. Can we now salvage from Max? It would be ridiculous. That would be so damn cool. Getting stuff from Max on the battlefield. Critical. It critical. Boom! Then we're gonna use our auto cannon. He's already hatched up. Can we follow up? Yeah. Stay here. Uh, it's it's barely doable when he's flying. But you know what? We're just gonna go through his face. Uh, center torso. Oh, careful. Tango eliminated. Bam. Almost got him. Take that while we're at it. And then that thing. Holy crap, we survived it. Status report? I mean, my guys are in pretty good shape still. They are be they're beaten up, absolutely, but... Still in good shape. And honestly, I'm so happy that we went over here first. Imagine we engaged the other two bases at the same time, realized the target is not there, and then came here in our already damaged state. That would have been really That's bad. So what's that? Why is it yellow? Is that a like an epic item? Like something good? Well done, Commander. That's exactly what we were after. Initiating recovery procedure. Alright. What what is it? Rihanna, tell me. Was there one of these, uh, go to Davion blah blah border and get the Cantina mission objective? Was it that thing? Oh my god. I, I need to, I need to roll back and rewatch what I just did. Because I have no idea what this was all about. But hey, let's go to evac. It was a good mission. And I would say, in terms of challenge level, perfect. So, we got beaten up, yep. But we managed to get things done. And I think fighting was the even better idea here, because running just backwards would have maybe resulted in getting a lot of shots into our rear end and that would have been catastrophic all right here we go let's go home and see what we found i wouldn't say no to finishing the cantina mission because it gives you the cantina reputation that helps you building up your mechs with upgrades later i think it would be okay but you know a nice thing to catch from the battlefield would also pretty nice so, what's it gonna be? There's nothing here. That was part of... Was it, no, it wasn't part of the mission. What was it? I don't know. And we are... Mm, we are three picks short to get the Black Knight. I would love to take that thing to the battlefield. Now that the Black Knights are also melee capable, they are so amazing. So many energy hard points. You take like one large laser to be able to shoot flyers out of the sky. The rest medium lasers, or let's say two larges. The rest medium lasers or small lasers and then just go in and brawl. Uh, so we're gonna take a champion instead. It is a solid mech. It's not great, great, but it's okay. Charger is not even a consideration here. Any good lasers? Any bad lasers actually? I'll do it like that. Okay. So. We made it. I don't know what we got there. I don't know if we even got anything. Did I pick it up? What happened? Um, I'm confused. We certainly picked something up from the battlefield. But... It doesn't show up. It didn't show up in the end screen. It doesn't show up here. Um, I'm I'm super confused. I have no idea. I need to actually go back and see and then figure out what's going on. If you have an idea, please do me a favor. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Because I am obviously very, very confused. Right, gonna repair some things. And we're gonna play the next mission. Cool. I like my build. I really do. 
sure. Demolition 52. We can also pick up something here. Seems like a good idea. We have a tonnage limit of 270. This is rough. Do we need heavier mechs to get this done? Maybe. Honestly, I think this brings more firepower to the table. I'm gonna take the Hunchback, although the Shadowhawk is the heavier mech. The Hunchback has less armor, but more more oomph, just more more raw firepower. Uh, playing Demolition means... I could take the Jenner and go in. Could take the Jenner, run, rush in, destroy buildings, get out again. Leaving uh, the Kentaro. Ooh, I could take the Kentaro. I will take the Kentaro. That's how we do it. So, buddy, you're gonna take the Rifleman. Actually, you're gonna take the Rifleman. You're good with ballistics and energy. And you're good with missiles and energy. And this is what the Quick Draw is doing. And we're gonna make one more swap here. Optimizing the skills a little bit. I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's go. I hope we are not dying here. This could very much be the case, you know. This is just 52. Woo. That's a lot of that's a lot of um, difficulty rating. And as I was saying, I feel comfortable in the 40 break, like from 40 to 49. This is more than 50 already. We'll see. But it's demolition. Online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All systems phenomenal. Our employer wants it gone, and we aim to please. Light that complex up like a New Year's celebration, Commander. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. Commander. One of the items of interest we're after may be found in this location. Try searching in the spot designated. That's a bit rough. It's beyond the base, so we have to actually go to the base, destroy that thing, and then. Get that, get the acid, and then move all the way back, probably into the center of the map, and uh, get out of here. It's not gonna be easy, I think. By the way, if we had some amazing long range, we could totally benefit from that. Just staying here and shooting the buildings to pieces. It's a nice way to to cheat in some damage early on. Just staying here, shooting LRMs, PPCs, and whatnot. Should probably not dispatch from my team so quickly. So I'm running 81 kph, taking the fastest mech here. The others are 64, respectively. Right? All of them? I think the quick draw can also run 81. Yeah. But the Rifleman and the Hunchback are 64. Alright, let's see what's coming. Contact. Contact. Enemy. Oh, crap! Right on cue. On approach. Uh, can we do that? Nope, that's wrong. Got him. Got him. Sure, this is my punch thing. By the way, you can punch the buildings. It actually deals some some solid damage. And recently I streamed, by the way, I stream on Twitch. This is a different playthrough on Twitch that we have on YouTube, so you don't have to worry that you're missing anything. But I already tested a bunch of things on Twitch, and... The buildings now have some interesting quirks. You will see that, maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Look at this. Our target is now That's warned. a warehouse. Go get him. This is... Ooh, what is that? Alright. Uh, that's a warehouse with, uh, with individual wall sections. Which means that you can breach those walls. And then... Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, and then get the interior. You can actually get into that building. Look at this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's not so cool. We are hot. I completely forgot while rambling. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna set it to my friends. Target I'm gonna leave it to my friends to actually get things done. Oh god, this mech is hot. Yo. I'm sending them over to the crab. In the meantime, I'm already picking up the acid, and I think this is the right thing to do. Kintaros, man, they are so hot. We should probably Target get rid of the acquired. medium lasers and just get two more heat sinks in the mech. Destroyed. It is okay if it's just keep running SRMs, because the SRMs are so devastating anyway. All right, so let's go over here, pick up the thing. The object we're after must be near. Have a look around, Commander. Here we go. That must be the and now we're going to go back. Beginning pickup operation. Um, there's another crab. Oh no, it's a crab. Uh, I want to stay on the first crab, though, ideally. 
That's a good hit. That's another good hit. Oh, I love SRMs. This is so good. Yeah, I know. Heat critical. And so on. Cool. We could also tune the mech a little bit by... Removing the sixes, the SRM sixes, and getting some SRM fours instead. The DPS is still okay because the fours have oh, um, a higher rate of fire. So they still pump out a lot of damage. And let's be real, three SRM four is already a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. Um, no wait. The thing is, the lower walls cannot be destroyed. Only the upper walls, like this. So, there it is. Things are falling. And then there's an... Oh, there's a crab again. Okay, let's go for the crab first. Your focusing target. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, there's another thing that you can see on taller buildings. I hope I can show you. Like, not this one. This is just like a like a fake building. It's not solid. It's hollow. But the, the solid buildings sometimes spew out people. When you destroy the, the upper areas. Uh, not this time, though. Uh, all right. Should probably go for Mr. Krabs now. Let's do it. And honestly, in terms of difficulty, this is okay so far. I don't know if I'm missing anything. No reinforcements yet, at the very least. We got a tank underwater. <laughs> right, got him. What happens if I get in the water myself? It cools like crazy. That's good. Cool. So, this is how we do it then. Uh, you can destroy the roofs and everything. By the way, it doesn't follow the rules of physics. That thing will just stay there for as long as it has some structures there. It will not collapse if you destroy all the supports, as you might tell here. Look at this. The floating castle is real! Rup! Wait, I thought I could destroy the generator. Maybe it was destroyed already. But hey, we got some more company. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with uh, killing first. And man, this pool of water is glorious. The, the pool of water is my best friend in the world. I Punch it! Come on! Ah. And we're gonna laser you to death then. Cool. And we are basically, basically done. Just a bunch of shots into the sky. Then we're gonna deal with the last mech and then we go home. Mission complete, Pretty good. I expect our employer to be very satisfied with this result. Would I take Head that hunchback? Maybe. Hey, hunchy. Hey, hey, hey. Let's kill right there. You can do that. It's kind of weird, but you can do that. So, going super duper mega point blank against a single target, and then going all in with SRMs in his face, it works. By the way, heavy mech, we're gonna check it out. What it is? It is an archer. I mean, actually? Coordinated attack target received. Yeah, here's what we do. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, mistakes were made. They also have a Jäger mech there. Okay. Disengage. Nope. Welcome. I want that archer. Fire. Can I have it, please? Please. All right, I need somebody to engage so I can safely move in. Uh, all right, so we're gonna take Jaeger first. Oh boy. I hope I can get there. This is an LRM Jaeger. It's the A variant. Okay, here we go. This is the cockpit in the center. Ow. I want that Jagger. Tons of salvage value. Alright, we're gonna check out the Archer as well. Ammo is low. That's not good. Hey, Archer. Hey. Hey, dude. Turn around, man. I'm here. Right here. Not optimal. And yeah, he got some lasers still. Oh, he's cherry red. Come on, give me my salvage. Uh, almost like you planned that shot. No, what? Really? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. All right, let's go home. We have enough potential salvage now. I think this is safe to say that there is there is something that we might be able to pick up at the same time. Those guys were fresh and probably need a lot of salvage points to recover. 
I don't know. By the way, ravens. Oh, I love ravens. Ravens are so cool. They look so nice. You got my leg down now, buddy. Go away. <laughs> it's okay. We made it happen. So, Raven, by the way, has an ECM. As you could see, our sensors were scrambled and we couldn't really see and stuff like that. Um, let's go home. That was a good mission. Right arm of the rifleman, almost down. So, our auto cannon, our good auto cannon, got almost destroyed. But it is repairable. So, we have just a crit on that thing. It didn't get destroyed. Good. Good missions here. Let's see. So, easy salvage trick. If you want to get salvage, guys... Uh, just load a mech with SRMs, go point blank, aim at cockpit, and just unleash hell on them. Cool. Uh, this is... Uh, it is so sad that there is a Jaeger mech A and an Archer 2R, and we can take none of them. Well then. We can, however, take the Jack of Blacks, which gives us a bit of money. I'm not against Blackjacks. They are okay, Max. Early on, they are really good. But we are beyond early. I take another autocannon 10, I think. It's a very good one. We also take some good medium lasers so that we can upgrade the existing Max. And then I think I need to take like one more of those. Was it four or five or six even? I don't know. I'll just take some of those. On top of that, EW probe, by the way, the active probe, uh, you need a slot for it. So you cannot easily put it in your Mac. So, I'm gonna skip on that. But it's still a valuable item, so we just stock up on things that we can sell, potentially. Alright, so no new mech for us. But hey, look at this. This is all green. And we needed four lasers. Yeah, okay, fine. Anyway, making progress. We got the space suits as well. Very nice. That means we can actually go... And pick us some others. Very good chemical laser, but it's a small chemical laser and it's only one. And that's not worth even putting it in a, in a single mag. Because with a chem laser, you also need ammo. And putting a ton of ammo, or let's see, even half a ton of ammo for a single small laser, it just doesn't do anything. I will accept it for the reputation. Collect one Vulcan, collect one Commando. Um, That's an LRM. Okay, I'll take the five tier four, potentially. And now we are 6 out of 6, so it's fine. Alrighty, guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also support me on Patreon if you like what you see here. The link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.